continuing business objective. Yesterday we said, uh, when you have a business is setting up its objective, it has to be smart. That is the point there. If you have to set up an objective, the objective is going to be smart. Why does it need to be smart? It needs to be smart to be able to assess the success or the performance of that such objective. So now I want to go to different kinds of objectives a business might want to set up. So before we go to further notes, the business objective must be smart. As this allows the owner, the owner to be able to assess the performance. So it is important for owners of business to be able to assess the performance of their business. Why? Because when they are able to assess the performance, it means they will be able to know where the business is at and what needs to be done to reach such goal that is being set. So that's why we need to assess the performance. So to assess the performance, you need the objective to be smart. That is all. Now, there are different kinds of objectives businesses might want to achieve. Why? Because at every point in time, businesses might have different situations that will make them to want to change their objectives. So let's see the kind of objectives that businesses might really aim to achieve. Number one, survival. When you talk about survival, survival means being in existence. You want to continue to be in that market. You don't want to leave that market. You don't want to close shop. Irrespective of whatever the situation is, you don't want to close down. You want to still be in existence. You want to still be in operations. That's what survival is. So look at what I wrote. This is I just started training. I think of survival because it is risk. It is risk. Is it as risk? Is that risk? It takes time for people to know about the existence of a new business. Why is it a risk for new businesses that are starting up? It is a risk because it takes time for people to know that such business is existing. And the entire already competitors, those that are already in the market. So for you, for a business that is starting up, the A shouldn't be like becoming maximization. At that, at that starting point, it should think about how it becomes you know, consistent in that market, how it becomes, it becomes well known in that market, how to gain customers in that market. So that would be the first A of a business that is newly starting up. Why? Because starting up a business is at risk. It's a risk. Why is it a risk? It's a risk because you might lose all your money. You might not have customers, and customers are not coming from heaven. Customers are those customers that are existing, buying from your competitors. So, starting a new business, you might not just think about going to maximization, rather, you can start thinking about how you have to exist in that market, how you have to stamp your authority in that market. That is what survival is. And also, for existing businesses, they might face different business difficulties one time or the other. That might also make them to change their objective to survival. So look at what I wrote here. Existing businesses might also consider survival at one time or the other when the trading conditions are becoming difficult. Trading conditions might be difficult maybe because of external factors. So these factors are beyond the control of the business. That might make the business to change its objectives. So that is about existing business. So new business might think about survival. Existing business can also think about survival. For new business, they are thinking about survival because they have to gain the confidence, they have to gain the trust, they have to convince existing customers or their competitors to start buying from them, to start patronizing them. And for existing businesses, they might also think about survival. Whenever they see what, whenever the trading condition is what is not ideal, or whenever the trading condition is becoming difficult for them, so they think about difficulties and to think about the condition. So the condition was them to think about survival. That is for existing businesses. Then, we go on to profit maximization. For profit maximization, what is profit? Profit is your total revenue minus your total loss. So as much as whenever a business is able to increase its revenue above the total cost, then the, the business is making a profit. Profit is different for profit maximization. Profit is different from profit maximization. Here we're talking about profit maximization. Why would businesses think about profit maximization? Before we go into real, uh, the real definition about profit maximization, note, as soon as a business that is, in a, that is just newly starting up, a newly, start, a newly starting up business, a newly starting up business, as soon as it's able to 
survive that family, as soon as it's able to, you know, meet up, meet customers, as soon as it's able to, you know, gain the trust, confidence of the customers, it's going to change its own objective too. So as soon as you become stable in the market, it's important for you to think about the next thing because you have to grow, you have to expand. So that will be the next thing you have to think about, which is what profit maximization. So for profit maximization, I don't without, without profit, most businesses will not exist. People are setting up business because they want to make profit. Without making profit, they might not, they might never think about profit. That's why I'm saying entrepreneurs have initiated, they come up with ideas. They want to sell these ideas to people to get money from people. So that is the motive. So entrepreneurs will come up with a business idea that they think they can sell to the people. And as soon as people can buy it, the money comes and they can make profit. So Without profit, most businesses do not exist. However, some businesses focus on profit more aggressively. That is the point. Some businesses focus on profit more aggressively. They want to make the highest possible profit that is there in the market to make. Simply because the owners want to make as much profit as they possibly can. So the owners of the business have set up an objective, which is what? Make profit for me. The owners of the business have clearly stated that workers, managers make profit for me. The owners have quite give, uh, given the titles to the managers to make profit. So at that point in time, the business was you know, aggressively make that profit. So that's what profit maximization is about. So look at what I said here. If entrepreneurs want to maximize profit, they keep costs low. So the first thing they can do to maximize profit is to reduce costs as much as possible, as low as possible. So reducing costs as low as possible would what would increase the profit margin for the guy. So here I said, if entrepreneurs want to maximize profit, they keep costs low as much as they can and raise prices, raise prices as high as possible. So first, they will increase costs. They will they will reduce their costs as much as they can. The second one is they raise prices, they increase the prices, they increase it to the highest possible ever way. So because here, when prices increases, revenue will increase, they will make profit. When cost is low, the profit margin will rise. Because at that point in time, you will be spending less, the cost of production will be lower, then the profit, the margin of profit would have increased. So the point of all the profit margin, we're talking about the profit the business is making right now compared to the profit the business was making before now. So a lower cost would increase the profit margin. Higher price would increase the profit made by firms. How? Lower cost means the amount spent in ensuring that the production is available in the previous year was less, uh, was higher than the cost of production now. So it means the profit of last year, the profit of now would have increased more than that of last year. That is profit margin. Then, for raising prices, if firms or businesses increase their prices, what happens? Revenue will increase. And as soon as revenue increases, as soon as revenue increases, profit will rise. So, that is the point about raising prices to maximize profit. Lowering cost to increase profit margin. Lowering cost to increase profit margin means you are comparing the cost of the previous time to the cost of now. So the cost of the previous time is higher than the cost of now. So that means the profit you made previously is lesser or lower than the profit you're going to make now. So there's an increase in the profit margin. That is for cost. But for prices, when you talk about prices, we're talking about the how to achieve profit here. So at this point in time, the revenue made have increased. And if revenue increases, profit will also what? Increase for pairs. So that is another objective. Then the next one is other objectives. For other objectives, here we're talking about sales maximization, market share, cost efficiency, employee welfare, and customer satisfaction. So let's check other objectives a business might want to achieve. Number one, sales maximization. When you talk about sales maximization, here we're talking about yeah, 
how often we want to increase the number of sales, the quantity of sales it makes in the market to cover everything. This is the same thing as an objective, wanting to increase their sales as much as possible in the market. So increasing your sales can increasing your sales can also be an objective that we set. So increasing your sales means you want to maximize your sales. And why do you want to maximize your sales? You might want to maximize your sales to increase your market share. So let's just set sales objective, sales maximization objective, because you want to increase your market share. That is the aim. Then the next objective could be market share itself. Remember, market share is what? The total market share is total brand sale. Brand sale divided by total market sale multiplied by 100. This is the formula for market share. So the business, the aim of the business here is to increase the number of sales, the number of the amount of revenue it makes in the market. It wants it to be the highest in the market. That's where it should be. It should be thinking about market share. So in our time here, increasing market share is what any business would want to achieve. As this will lead to increase in, increase in revenue and possibly profits. It also allows the business to gain more popularity. So if a business is trying to increase its market share, three things are going to happen. Number one, the business will be able to increase its revenue. That means it's going to sell more, it wants to sell more because as soon as your market share increases, it means you have more customers to yourself than your competitors. So that means you get more money, more revenue because you are selling more. Two, as soon as your revenue increases, it's likelihood that your profit will also what? Rise. And the last thing, it means you are getting more popularity in the market. It means you are getting more, more popularity in the market. So market share, increasing market share would allow the business to, be, to increase its revenue. It allows the business to increase its profit. It allows the business to gain more popularity. So those are the three things market share does. So the next one is cost efficiency. When you talk about cost efficiency, here we're talking about how a firm would want to reduce its cost as much as, as low as it can. So look at what I wrote here. From time to time, businesses would find a way to cut, to cut their cost. That is the point. They want to reduce their cost. So reducing their cost, this might be an objective. When the trading conditions are difficult, competition is increasing, and there's economic downturn. There are three reasons here that would make a business want to think about reducing its cost. So let's start with the first one. Trading condition becomes difficult. When we call trading condition becoming difficult, here we are likely talking about the external factors that might affect the business. And when we call these external factors, we're talking about the pest tool analysis. We call them pest tool. Pest tool. There is political factor, economic factor, social factor, technological factor, legal factor, and environmental condition. So all these things are beyond the business control. So these things might take a business to start thinking about a way to find a lasting solution to their problem by reducing the cost. So reducing the cost means the trading condition is not ideal. The trading condition is not friendly with them. Why is the trading condition not friendly with them? We're talking about the difficulties they are facing in the market. The next one is competition. Whenever a new business starts off, it means competition has increased in that market. And what is competition? Competition means a rival. Competition. Competition is a rival that exists, that exists between businesses in the market. So this is what competition is about. So as soon as there's competition in that market, it means you have to share your customers. And sharing your customers means that your revenue will reduce. As a result, firms or businesses might think about reducing or cutting their cost. So the last one is economic downturn. We talk about economic downturn. This could be as a sort of recession. And whenever there's recession in the economy, economic activity falls and 
such as if you want to implement which will reduce the purchasing power of banks, such as high inflation rates. So all these things affect also businesses, which makes them to think about reducing their cost of cost. Then if cost lower, profit margin will be greater and businesses might be able to have a competitive advantage. As soon as businesses are able to reduce their cost, the profit margin becomes higher. And at that point in time, they might have a competitive edge over the competitors. But talking about competitive advantage, it means those conditions that allows you to sell more, those conditions that allows you to decide whatever happens in that market is a competitive advantage. Then we go into ways in which a business could reduce cost. Businesses, whenever they want to reduce cost, they can use different methods to reduce the cost of production. Number one, they could lay off workers. Laying off workers means they are reducing the number of staff they have. This could reduce the labor cost. Two, find new suppliers. Whenever they find new suppliers, they might be finding new suppliers to reduce the amount spent on resources. That means they are looking for cheaper resources. Three, increase the usage of recycled materials. This, when they start using recycled materials, it reduces waste. And because of reducing waste, they might be able to save more cash or more money. Develop new working, work, working practices that reduce the reuse of resources. They might come up with different methods of operations that will allow them to use less resources. Also, they can also think, they can also, they can, they can think about replacing workers with machines. That would go into lay off workers. So these are ways in which businesses might want to reduce cost or cut cost. Then another objective, under this other objective is employee welfare. When we talk about employee, we talk about the workers within the organization. It is not, it is not new anymore. Businesses start understanding the importance of their workforce. So look how I got here. In recent years, a number of employees have realized, have realized the importance of meeting the needs of employees. A lot of, a lot, in recent times, a number of employers, a number of employers, sorry, a number of employers, a number of employers have realized the importance of meeting the needs of employees, as this means they have well put, as this then makes them happy, well motivated, happy, well motivated, and become more productive. So, if workers' welfare are well taken care of, workers become happier. And as soon as they are happy, they will become more well motivated. And when they are well motivated, what happens to them? They become more productive. And in the course of becoming more productive, businesses stand the chance to pay more. Because at that point in time, output will, will increase from pens. Customer service will improve with customers, and this will make them to be happy. Customers will also be happy, and businesses might pay more revenue. Then the last objective is customer satisfaction. When you talk about customer satisfaction, what does that mean? Like? Remember, we said customers are the key thing, are the key thing of every business. Which means without customers. Are not having a business. Without customers, we don't even have business, we never exist. Because these are customers are the ones that buy from our high end. So, customer satisfaction. Most businesses will want to meet the needs of customers. The reason is that when they are satisfied, they will return. Customers will return. That is important. Customer loyalty. Customer loyalty. Customer loyalty. Customers will not be loyal to your business, will not be loyal to your brand if they are not happy, if they are not satisfied, if you are unable to meet their needs. As a result, businesses stand the chance to gain more whenever they are able to meet up with the needs of customers. How can they you know, make up, meet up with the needs of customers? How can they make customers to be happy more? By providing quality, by producing quality products. Because when their quality, when quality is produced, it means the expectations of customers will be met too by training workers before they are given customer service job to do. Train by using mystery shoppers to check the activity of employees within the organization. All these things would, allow, would, you know, would improve customer service, would improve their method of provision, and customer satisfaction would occur. And as soon as customers are satisfied, the business has a, has a greater chance of making profit and success and to be successful. Thank you. So that
that's what about this object. 